Hey everyone, it's Marie. I'm gonna try to go live here. Um, I'm just, I haven't gone live for a while. I'm just trying to get my phone on my uh, stand here, getting things set up. I'll let you guys have some time to kind of pop in here. Um, I've been working on doing some live videos lately and I'm gonna try to do more live videos. You guys know um, what do you think of live? See, you know, I'm just trying to see if you guys are liking this. Um, but I'm just going to kind of build a card today and maybe chat with everybody um, if anyone pops in here. Otherwise, um, I'm just going to kind of get on here and build a card. I thought it would be kind of fun to try to do a little live, um, creating live as I'm working with some of my Brutus Monroe products. I'm getting my iPad set up here so that maybe I can see everyone. Oh, hi, Dee. Hi. I'm glad somebody popped in here. <laughs> I haven't been live on my YouTube channel for a long time, and I'm going to see if um, if I can kind of get that started. So hopefully you guys like this. You know, tell me what you think, uh, if you want to see more from me or not. But um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Dee. How are you? We had a busy weekend this past weekend. We had a picnic for my husband's um, co-workers, and then we went and visited a church yesterday that we really liked, and so my kids basically had not had naps the past two days. So they are napping now, supposed to be anyway. I'm watching them on the monitor. They are kind of doing their whole little wind down thing before they actually go to sleep. But um, I thought I'd pop on here and try to do a little live with you guys today. So I wanted to play around with my Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigments. And I have an idea for this new stamp set that they have out. This one is the Autumn Sunrise. I believe this one is included in the new Inspiration, t inspiration box, if I have that right. But I have the stamp set and I have an idea that I want to try. Oh, thanks, Dee. Yeah, I, I love watching people do live, too, so I'm trying to try to get that going on my channel if you guys like it. So what I was thinking is I want to do sort of a stamped pattern with these on my cardstock or my aqua pigment paper, and I'm going to use my masking paper and cut out a little oval um, and mask out the middle part of my, my card front. So... Played with your aqua pigments yesterday? Yes. I have been playing with these since I first got them. I just love these aqua pigments. Alright, so this is not coming out of the package, but these are my stitched oval dies from Brutus Monroe. I think I want this size here. And I'm going to use these to cut out some masking paper. And then I'm going to put it on the front of my card and then stamp around it. So does that fit? Yep, that one fits. So I'm going to cut this out with my dies. You did some backgrounds. I love seeing what everyone does with these aqua pigments. you got to turn this around so the handle is the right way. They're so much fun to play with. They're so easy to work with. I've tried different watercolors before, and sometimes I get varied results. Sometimes... I get some good results and sometimes they're horrible, but honestly, these aqua pigments I've learned are so easy to work with. I just love them. So I'm cutting out some of my, here we go, there's my oval masking paper, and I'll just set this to the side. I have to remember I left my dye in there, otherwise I'm going to be searching for it later. Anyway. I'll set these to the side as well. I'm sure you can all relate of not having enough space in your craft room. <laughs> I'm still trying to get everything organized. All right, so this is some aqua pigment paper, which I love this paper. It works so beautifully with the aqua pigments. Okay, so here's the masking paper. It's really sticky, but I've never really had problems pulling it off my paper. But if that bothers you, just kind of rub it on your sleeve a few times so it can pick up some lint. Yeah, I need a professional organizer too. That would be, that would be awesome. Because, I mean, who has time to organize when you're trying to craft? I'd rather be crafting. So, 
Let me stick this right in the middle. Then I can put my magnets on top of that, perhaps. And now I'm going to just layer a bunch of these leaves around the outside. I know, I have so much stuff, I can't find it either. I just, I need to figure out a really good organization system, and I just haven't yet. So, we'll see. Now I'm debating, I think I want to emboss these. So I'm going to go ahead and rub this with my embossing powder. Kind of get rid of some of that static cling. So I can get a clean embossing. <laughs> I will let you know. I will let you know if I figure something out. But here we go. Let me just arrange these all around. So there are some bigger leaves. There are some smaller leaves. I kind of try to balance them. And I try to kind of hang them off the edge a little bit. And I'm just going to lay all my stamps out around here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stamp them with my Misty. I love how many different leaves are in this set. They're all so different and unique and you can use them all over the place. Do you, you have this box coming, Dee? It should be, oh, when you get home today. Oh, fun. So you need to put away some crafting time so that you can create with this box. And dies. Yeah, the dies that came with this, I saw, I don't have them, but I saw them. Um, those are really fun. The leaf dies, you can really do a lot with, um, with just leaves, leaf dies. So those are really nice. And I just think the, the value of the boxes you get from Brutus Monroe is just fantastic. You get so much in those inspiration boxes. A lot of times I end up with the stamp sets, but I know that Jess and Heather B have been doing a lot with the inspiration boxes. So check out their, um, their channels because they, they usually have a lot of inspiration going on. Let's see if we can just fill this up a little bit. I think I want to move this guy over here. Just kind of tweak this a little bit. And try to get these. I'm just going to set all of my little stamps up, see what it looks like, and then I can always go back and stamp in any areas that I've missed that I have any open spots, <laughs> see how it looks before stamping. Let's see here. Let's see how that looks. Do you think it looks pretty good? I don't know, we'll see. Oops not picking them all up. How come it's not picking them up? Oh, you know, it would help. What in the world? Oh, I know what I did. <laughs> I put the backing of my stamp set on my Misty door. And then when I tried to pick them up, it just picked up my, okay, things not to do. This is what not to do. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to do this. So don't set your stamp set on your misty door because that might happen. So now I have to go ahead and arrange everything again. Ay, ay, ay. I don't remember where I had everything, so I'm just going to just stick them on again. Let's see what this looks like. Sometimes I get a little bit too obsessed with getting everything perfect and you really don't need to. You just need to just kind of let it do its own thing. Okay, let's see what that looks like and see if I can do this right this time. <laughs> All right. Yep, everyone is human. I know. Let's see. All right. Success. 
let's see how this looks. All right, so I've already, I'm just gonna do this again, just to be sure. Wipe a little bit on here. And then I'm gonna get my embossing ink. And then just ink up these stamps. Make sure I get them good and covered with ink. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp it down. See what this looks like. I love experimenting with these aqua pigments because I think they're just gorgeous. Make sure I get, let it soak into the paper a little bit. So like I said, I'm just kind of experimenting with doing some more live videos. Um, I can kind of see where I got it stamped. I just want to make sure I stamped everything. Let me go ahead and stamp it one more time because as long as we have the misty, yeah. Yeah, about three times. I think is usually good. Sometimes just with the uh, with the embossing ink, it's a little hard to see. And then I'm always nervous that it shifted on me, but we'll see what happens. Sometimes if I just hold it there for a second, it helps the ink kind of soak into that paper. There we go, I can see it a little bit better. I think that's looking pretty good. I see around here a little bit. I need to press this one down a little bit more. Let me just stamp it one more time. So I'm hoping my kids take a really good long nap today because they, they really need it. They got wiped out this weekend. We're usually not that busy, but everything tends to fall on the same time when you have things going on. All right, I think I've stamped that out pretty good. I'm going to leave that masking paper just where it is. And then I'm moving this aside and I'm going to go ahead and emboss this background. And since this is a fall theme card, I want to use some. Hey Del, how... hey, thanks for joining. Glad you caught me live. I've been telling Dee here, um, I am new at the live thing on my on my YouTube. I did it a while ago, but I'm trying to get it going again. And I've been doing live on Brutus Monroe's Facebook page, trying to do it at least once a week. So you'll probably see me on there sometime later this week as well. And this week on Brutus Monroe, the the blog hop with the team is watercolor, so I'll be doing more watercolor there too as well in case you want to try to catch that. I can't always promise exactly a scheduled time because it just depends on whenever the kids sleep. So I kind of like usually just surprise pop on there, but it's usually around nap time for me. All right, let's see how this looks. Let's see how that copper, I love this penny embossing powder for fall things because it's just this beautiful copper when you melt it. Let's see how that looks. Let's tap off the extras and put the rest back into my bottle. And I'll go ahead and emboss. All right. Hey, no, this is not the coffee. This is the um, the penny embossing powder. So it's a it's a copper metallic. I do have the coffee as well. The coffee would look really good. That's a dark brown, but I'm going with the metallic today. Oh, thank you, Dell just getting started so I'm hoping it's going to turn out the way I'm thinking about it.
All right, I think I got all of those leaves um, embossed. And I noticed the heat of my embossing gun is kind of making this masking paper come up, but that's fine because that will make it help bring it up a little bit easier. But I think I'm gonna just stick it back down while I do my watercoloring. That'll kind of help me remember where that is. Do I sketch out, you know what? I've tried doing the sketching thing and it doesn't work because I sketch things out and then I forget where I sketched it and then I'm like, well, I'll just go and I'll just invent something. So most of the time when I sit down to create, I just kind of, I make it up. Unless I have an idea already that I wanted to try. But um, yeah, a lot of times it's just kind of whatever I feel like doing at the moment. So that's why it's a little bit hard for me to do live because I don't always know what I, I don't always have a plan in mind when I'm trying to create. So um, if I do a live, I try to have sort of something in mind so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do nothing for a while. Um, but yeah, a lot of times it's just kind of, you know, whatever I think about doing. So I'm taking some of my um, Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigments now. Um, it's a one ounce bottle. You get um, a lot of watercolor in here and they have a lot of different colors. They just came out with some newer ones. Um, so I'm, I'm loving these aqua pigments. I've been playing with them a lot and I kind of like to just kind of build layers. Yeah, you do the same thing. I know I've tried doing the sketching, the sketching it out, but I just kind of like, I kind of like to just sit down and create an experiment. So I'm just going for a bunch of different fall colors today. Um, you can see I already have my aqua pigments in my palette. I've left them here from when I was previously using them and I just let them dry because I can just kind of pick up some of that pigment again with water because they, um, they come back to life when you add some more water. And so I just, I just leave them in my, my palette and I just add a little bit more whenever I need to. And they mix really well. So if you're trying to mix any colors, um, they mix together really well. So I'm adding some red, I'm adding some orange, um, and I'm going to kind of go in layers. So I'm starting with these leaves, I'm going to color them all, and I'm letting them dry, and I'll come back and add more colors and just build up, build up that color. So let's see, I don't think I have any yellow on my palette. So let's grab some yellow, and I want to put some, I'm going to get a little messy here. Just wipe off a little spot here. Kind of wipe some of that color away. And then I'm gonna add some yellow right there. So what did you guys do this weekend? Did anyone have a fun weekend? I was telling Dee earlier that we had a busy weekend already and the kids are kind of wiped. So I'm hoping they both take a really long nap. I can sit and craft with you guys, um, but it's Monday. We're back at it. I'm adding some yellow and some orange, kind of trying to build, build this color. Oh, you went looking for cars. Oh, that's fun. Are you, you're looking for a new car? Do you need a replacement? And Daniel says, oh, he grilled pork chops. I want some pork chops. Oh, you did a wedding. That's cool. Where was the wedding at? And then church. Oh, your husband builds Chevys. Wow, that's really cool. I'm gonna put some, some stuff down here. All right, let's put some green in here. Yeah, I was telling Dee earlier that we had a picnic with my husband's coworkers on Saturday, and then um, we visited a church yesterday. We just moved into the area, so we've been visiting a few churches, trying to see um, which one we're gonna go to regularly but this one we we visited was really nice really friendly people and kids um the same age as our kids so we'll probably go back and visit again next week so 
We are in California, D. We just moved here this summer. We're about uh, 45 minutes or an hour away from San Francisco. Um, so, so that's sort of outside of all of the busyness. But um, we'll, we'll definitely get to San Francisco, San Francisco at some point to visit. I know my son would love to see the trolleys and he knows about the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> We've never seen it, um, but he knows about it. He's seen pictures about it. Of course, his first questions was, it, why isn't it golden and where's the gate? I'm like, well, it doesn't have a gate and it's not golden. So kind of hard for him to understand, <laughs> but it's fun seeing new areas. But we're getting, we're getting, um, we're getting used to the area. We like it. The weather is beautiful. It gets cool in the evenings and then warms up um, in the afternoons. So we, we've been told that it rains a lot in the winter time. So we're still waiting to see rain because since we've been here since June, we have seen one, one, one day it sprinkled and that's it for rain. So we'll see. Yeah, um, I, we're not we're not too far from Napa Valley. D. Everyone uh, everyone loves Napa Valley. Trying out the wines. There's a lot of wineries where you can go wine tasting and stuff. Uh, my husband and I don't drink, so we can't tell you what it what it's like but um everyone says it's really great your sister lives in dublin uh how far is dublin you know what i forgot to put my phone on silent there we go because i just got a text so yeah i haven't been out in dublin we just moved here so i'm kind of getting used to the area So I'm just kind of adding a little bit of color here and there and mixing it together. Just trying to get some of these um, fall type colors. Just south of San Francisco. Okay. We haven't been down that way yet. We want to get there and see San Francisco, but we haven't been out, out adventuring yet. So it's kind of hard when, um, when your husband's working different shifts and then um, your kids, you know, kids still need naps and stuff. But we're definitely going to get out and explore at some point. All right, let's see. I'm going to make this one probably some green and brown here. Add a little bit in there. And then I really love the orange, like those bright orange leaves. Okay, am I back? I'm sorry. Sorry, everyone. There's my hand. Okay, what happened is I forgot to put my phone on silent and I got a text and it just bumped me off of the live stream. So I apologize for that. I hope you guys are still here. Are you sure you want to continue streaming? Yes. 